kailangan medyo itono niya ng konti pa. Totally, pwede pa naman siya magsabit ng supplemental affidavit for him to qualify as a state witness. Right now, provisional yung kanyang admission sa witness protection. In general, sir, believable naman siya. Oh yes, definitely. And yung sinabi ko lang na yung possibility, parang minawarning ako lang yung the audio, yung prosecutor general. Baka may possibility na Trojan horse para masira yung kaso. But then, uh, ang second thought, Uh, the mere fact that he changed lawyers from ages jurist uh, members to non ages jurist uh, members, the lawyers, uh, yon, that's indicating indication enough that uh, he's already severing ties with the ages jurist by testifying uh, against uh, his fellow brat members. Nandoon yung iba. Actually, kinanong din sila at saka uh, hindi pa naman authenticated talaga yung uh, chat uh, messages. Kaya nga kinanong ko kanina kung na-authenticate na. But once ma-authenticate yun, and uh, si General Coronel made it clear na it will form part of their evidence to be submitted to the OJ and eventually sa court. Do you think, brother, sir? Uh, masasama sa committee report, I think, because uh, most of the members uh, are inclined to uh, make some very harsh recommendations against lawyers who are supposed to be responsible uh, officers of the court uh, na magiging part ng cover up. Sir, yung big brother, talaga ngayon Bernardo na yun, you think may iba ko sila pinagawa? Well, as testified to by Ventura, and by na yung big brother, si Antonio Bernardo, we will have to validate that. Most, yun nga eh, yan din ang talaga. Kasi most of my colleagues are in the belief na yung big brother Uh, supposed to be the TV now. But definitely, hindi yung, yung big brother, hindi yun yung elders as manifested <laughs> by attorney Puentes. Sir, bakit si TV na yung may isip yung isipin ko? Siya yung may pinakamalaki. Hindi ako, no? Most of my colleagues. No? Ako, I'm, I'm open. Hindi, hindi ako nag... Uh, wala akong conclusion na strong enough to suspect na si Dean TV na yan. No? It could be anybody. But that elders. Because may distinction yung pag-describe nila sa elders at sa kato sa big brother. So yung USP, ano yung responsibility? Well, uh, if at all, negligence. Klaro naman na uh, negligence sila dahil yung date ng uh, yung deadline ng pag-submit ng uh, mga activities, June 30, di ba? Pero July 12, ba't pinayagan pa rin nila? Sir, wrong move ba kay Solana na ginamit ng defense yung sinasabi niya na? Well, yes, I was talking to the father. And the father used to be with the PC, INP, where I used to belong. Sabi niya, bakit nagkaganoon na parang ngayon, magja-charge yung anak ko sa mga kasi lahat ng kinang-anak ko. Because, at the outset, siya yung pinaka-qualified sana na mag-state uh, witness. Because, uh, after all, pinabayaan din siya ng mga brat, uh, brats niya. Uh, he was left on his own, di ba? Tutulog sa waiting cell. But then, parang kumihit yung kanyang uh, testimony And nawala yung simpati ng mga magulang ni Acho sa kanya. Uh, nung una nga, eh, ang, uh, ang attitude namin sa kanya, biktima rin siya. Because after all, he was at present. But it could be part uh, uh, doon sa complicity. Sir, so, so, pa klaro pa lang, sir, sinuspend nyo lang yung inquiry, so there's a possibility. Well, because I cannot decide on my own. I have to consult with the other members, at least with the majority of the members of the committee. Kung determinate na o hindi. So yung direction na recommendation niya mukhang abolish hazing na? Well, illegal naman talaga yung hazing eh. But uh, to strengthen, yun nga, uh, ang isa doon, ito ato yung, yung penalty ng other uh, participants uh, not uh, present during the initiation rights. Sir, sinamin niya ang kinasubong ko ito on the certiorari, si Ivana Zabili or the Senate? Well, let's put it this way. Ayaw naman namin matalo kami na parang nirelease namin because meron siyang final para maging vote in academic. Sabi ko nga, nobody wants to lose by default. 
So, mas mainam na ilaban na lang ng Supreme Court. So, he asked for it, then we'll give it to him. Sir, si mismo si Balag yung nagsabi na abolish na dapat yung leasing, but is it too late for him to say that? Well, we cannot say that as of yet kasi uh, impleded sila, but wala pa naman as of PI. Hindi pa natin alam kung sino yung mag-charge, sino yung hindi. Saka kung soon, Ken, uh, uh, sorry, uh, on, on yung sa ganun sa hindi ni Balag na sa SC na yun, Ano katagal sir bago maglapas ng decision sa mga tenant? Aabutin ba siya ng Pasko dito? Eh, depende sa kanya. Kung yung... Kung, ah, okay. well, kung yung niya, wala ng kaso, then uh, walang pressure sa amin uh, on, on what to do. Uh, saka sa disposition niya. Pero as long as there's a pending case sa Supreme Court, uh, it's not uh, good for us to render the case mo ten academic by releasing him. Sir, sorry, once. Sana naman, kung hindi na lang sir, bakit siya yung naiisip ng mga kasamahan nila dito? Siya kasi yung pinaka-prominent na AGS Tourist member. Siya kasi yung, he appears to be the most influential. Well, malaki yung relevance kasi siya yung, kung uh, sino yung big brother, siya yung nagdi-defer sa kanya yung mga members. So, malaki yung influence. So, well, uh, we have to review the group chat messages, yung mga exchanges. Sir, din yung po muna hintay na ma-authenticate yung chat messages? Ah, pinaka-authenticate naman ng MPD. Sige, okay. Sir, salamat. So, hindi nyo napigilit Ah, hindi rin kasi may confidentiality yung testimony, although ano na eh, open secret na rin eh. Alam na rin natin lahat kung nung tenesify, court is your secretary here eh. So, di ba more or less may idea na tayo. Thousands of people gather on EDSA to protest the spate of killings in the drug war. They began the day by attending a mass at the historical Edsa Shrine to pray for forgiveness and healing. Our Makoy Popioko joins us live from Ortigas. Makoy, tell us what happened. My 150 family members of alleged victims of extrajudicial killings attended the 3 p.m. mass where over 2,000 people joined them in their quest for justice. Vice President Lenny Robredo, Senators Antonio Trillanes, Bamakino, Risa Onteveros, and Frank Drilon were also there. Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines President Archbishop Socrates Villegas led the mass, co-organized by the opposition group Tindig Pilipinas. Villegas, in a video uploaded on the Facebook page of uh, Tindig Pilipinas, said that this mass is not a political gathering. He said that this is a simple assembly of the faithful to pray for the country's healing. Now, in his homily, Villegas condemned the killings, and he said that the Philippines turned into a country of apathetic Filipinos who seem indifferent about the series of murders committed in the government's war against drugs. Villegas also challenged government officials and ordinary citizens to fight for what is right, and that is to stop the killings. Ang pag-iusap na itigil ang patayan ay panaghoy ng mahigit sampung libong kababayan natin na baril dahil ng laban daw o kaya ibinaril ng di makilalang tao. Ito ay hinagpis ng mga ulilang magulang at anak para maagang na ulila sa asawa kapag hindi natin itinigil ang patayan may sumpang parusa ang bayang pumapatay sa sariling kababayan. The masses ended at 4 p.m. Now the attendees march or march to the People Power Monument for a protest. My. Makoy police say tens of thousands are now at the People Power Monument to continue their protest. But tell us about what to expect in the weeks to come. Well, my, this um, uh, Lord Heal Our Land Sunday Masses will kick off the 33th day of uh, praying the rosary. And uh, the faithful are also encouraged to receive the Holy Communion every day until December 8th, or the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. 
and this uh, mass is happening in all parishes all over the Philippines. In fact, there's a similar protest happening now in Cebu. Mai. Makoy Papioko joining us live from the EDSA Shrine. Malacanang says everyone is welcome to protest against the administration. It adds the government will never condone extrajudicial and vigilante killings. As of the end of September, it said police are investigating over 2,000 incidents with drug-related motives. The administration is one in, quote, the true healing of the nation that has long been divided by politics. It also eyes to build a better rapport with the Catholic Church and seek the cooperation of its leaders in the anti-drug campaign. Authorities arrest Minhati Madrais, the Indonesian wife of Malte leader Omar Malte, this morning in Iligan City. Police also recovered materials commonly used for improvised explosive devices. Our Rex Remitio has the details. Police and military forces have arrested Minhati Madrais, the Indonesian wife of Malte group leader Omar Malte. The 36-year-old Madrais was taken from her house in a subdivision in Barangay Tubod. Following a raid where authorities confiscated four blasting caps, two detonating cords, and a time fuse. These are materials commonly used in making improvised explosive devices. Midrais is included in the Defense Department's arrest, search, and seizure order to stamp out rebellion, issued at the height of the Marawi crisis and when Mindanao was placed under martial law. Asawa siya ni, ano, so, ni Omar, so tinitinan natin yung participation niya. From Indonesia, siya. Tapos nakapunta siya sa Pilipinas. Authorities have also taken into custody her two sons and four daughters. They will be turned over to the Social Welfare Department. CNN Philippines has also obtained a copy of Madraises' Indonesian passport, which the Iligan police says has expired.